Australia's vast landscapes were once untouched by one particular creature, the rabbit. But in 1859, a single mistake changed everything. When European settlers arrived, they brought with them something unexpected, 24 wild rabbits. One man, Thomas Austin, thought it would be fun to hunt them on his property in Victoria. He had no idea this small decision would spiral into one of history's worst ecological disasters. Rabbits, with no natural predators in Australia, thrived. They bred at an uncontrollable rate. One pair could produce up to 184 offspring in a year. In just a few decades, millions of rabbits spread across the country, consuming vegetation faster than it could grow. The impact was devastating. Rabbits stripped farmland bare, leaving the soil exposed to erosion. Native animals, like wallabies and wombats, struggled to survive as their food sources vanished. Desperate to stop the invasion, the Australian government tried everything, hunting, poisoning, and even building the world's longest fence, stretching over 800 miles to keep rabbits out. But nothing worked. Finally, in the 1950s, scientists introduced a virus called myxomatosis, which killed millions of rabbits and temporarily slowed their population. Later, another virus, RHDV, was released in the 1990s to control their numbers. Even today, rabbits remain a major problem in Australia. Their numbers continue to rise, and controlling them remains an ongoing challenge. The story of Australia's rabbit invasion is a warning. Introducing species without understanding the consequences can cause irreversible damage. Nature is delicate, and one mistake can change everything.